Listen, on the menu this morning, we've got deli food with a side of comedy here in our Arc Las Vegas kitchen. Siegel's Bagel Mania transforming into a comedy club. You guys are doing this monthly, but the big deal here, and I want to bring in the disclaimers, I bring the, our guests here, here on Arc Las Vegas. Let's run down from far right there, Alex Aladort from Siegel's Bagel Mania. Uh, 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 excuse me. Esther Steinberg, Noah Garden Schwartz, uh, husband and wife yeah. comedians. We the level of difficulty on the names <laughs> a, as I'm it comes. The wife, he's the husband, yes, yes. and we're. Um, we, I want to talk about this, you guys, and I want to give the disclaimer to our viewers here. You were doing this backroom comedy special, and it was so powerful, so impactful that now you're moving to the full restaurant. Right. Do I have that right? Yeah. Are, are you surprised by how successful it's been so far? Pleasantly surprised. I mean, we knew we had a good product in terms of we were going to be responsible for great comedians. Seagulls obviously has great food and a great venue, and we were thrilled with how the community has come out so far. So now we want to open it up to more people and just keep on growing the show. I want to know sort of what your, the response has been, because you're bringing in friends. You're yeah. bringing in your fellow comedians. What's been the response from them about doing comedy in a, in a deli, in a Jewish deli of yeah. all places? Well, well, they are looking at us like, oh, what should we order? So, like, we have to do comedy, and we have to also, like, teach people, like, exactly what to order. But we've had a lot of comedians, like, try their first Reuben sandwiches. So maybe that needs to we, be, like, a background. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we pride ourselves on variety of food and comics, because, honestly, a lot of the feedback from the people who came to the show has been all the comedians had a different style, but everyone was so good. Like, so we try to really bring smorgasbord of styles comedically and then also the menu has so many options that it's like people can really pick their sandwich and their comedy yeah. style and get the best of both when they come to the show um it was we had a show in august it was maybe 115 degrees and i was shocked <laughs> by the amount of bowls of soup that were yeah, coming out of the really kitchen weird. i was like yeah. who would have thought that summertime soup bowls would we be like flying saying, around. matzo ball soup was just selling like they couldn't keep it in stock with our <laughs> with our comedy show so All it's right. been great Let, let's bring in the uh seagulls bagel mania expert here alex uh let, let me ask you um What's it been like to be able to focus on the food and not have to worry about the entertainment that comes along with it in the restaurant? Yeah, you got to stay in your lane. <laughs> I'm in the bagel business, you know, so um, I think we provide a, a tremendous lineup of bagels, man. So, you know, we hit it out of the park every time. What's the headlining bagel? What's the, who's the headliner? I would go with, I think we have something unique to us that maybe you find only on the East Coast. I would go with our egg everything bagel. Did you bring it with you? Did you bring it with you here today? Of which, course I did. Which one? Point it out for us. Right there, man. Whoa. Right there. What makes the egg everything so special there, Alex? Well, everybody knows, you know, traditional egg everything bagel, right? That's a staple in the Jewish deli. However, in egg bagels, it just, it just adds a, a little extra to it, man. It just, it just gives you that, it's a little bit of a texture for me overall. I love it. It's, it's just perfect. You get it our, with our lox and our lox schmear, forget about it. It's like the Richard Pryor of bagels. Yeah. It's yeah. really yeah. special. We'll make really sure good. we are well stocked on Egg Everything Bagel September 26, which is our next show. We would love for everyone to come out. Alex just dropped a forget about it. And we're yeah. just we're just rushing over that like it's nothing here. So the next show, SeagullsBagelMania.com, is where you can learn more, get tickets. Um, I, besides being in a deli, yeah. is the obvious here. How does doing comedy there differ from your typical comedy club, say on the Las Vegas Strip? Well, so one thing that we've been very proud about is it seems like we have a local crowd. Okay. A lot of times when you perform on the Strip, you're performing for tourists who happen to be in town for the weekend. We've had Vegas residents, and that's why we wanted to do the show at Seagulls and on a Thursday night is make sure that we're doing something for actual Las Vegans that are coming out. And so the crowd has been great. You've got a special menu for the shows. Yeah. So you're talking full sandwiches, sort of uh, f larger spread than just an easy... Uh, you know, wipe some schmear on my, a bagel. And my personal recommendation, as passionate as he is about the egg everything, I love the Siegel burger. I had okay. it last month for the show. Best set of my life. I ate the burger and then was as funny as I've ever been. So no great. bombing after you have a, have a, have a Siegel burger? I'm eating, I'm eating chicken fingers. I'm very satisfied. I, I, oddly and full enough, cocktail menu. Yes. People, people don't realize right. that at a Jewish deli, we actually have drinks available as well. The espresso martini is a fantastic choice. But yeah. The Full Bloody cocktail Miriam, menu. Bloody Miriam, Bloody very Miriam, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The Bloody Mary that'll get you a, ba a ba uh, sandwich bagel right on that thing. You should check that thing out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what what makes good comedy food? Because you said big burger, that seems like it'd be labor intensive as you're trying to watch the comedian. Chicken finger seems more seems more responsible. Obviously, also soup, so that while yeah. you're supping, you again, again. Okay, like so the spit. How take. many slurps are you guys yeah. hearing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, a joke doesn't do well when you can hear the old Jews in the back slurping their soup. <laughs> Uh, is I, I know you okay husband and wife 
Yeah. There, there must be a little competition between you. Is there competition among the comedians that you're bringing on to, to outperform each other no, at the show? Honestly, comedy is a very communal vibe. We're all there to make each other laugh, to put on a good show. When one comedian does well, it helps the other comedian do well. So we're not like trying to blow each other out of the water. We're just trying to keep a positive vibe in the room all night. And, and like I said, we do a very good job of booking a variety of styles. So all the comedians are kind of bringing their own flavor to the show. But I think I think Vegas has a history of like you walk, you park in this crazy parking lot, yeah. you walk through a smoky casino, it's a whole hoopla, and then it doesn't start on time. So we pride ourselves easy parking, um, intimate comedy show. You're not packed with a million people. It's really nice. It's a big family. Everyone kind of like says hi to each other. You make friends. The show actually starts at eight on we time. For all, on for time. All, for what all a the novel parents, novel for all the concept. That have somewhere early to be the next day. It doesn't we go start. till two in the morning because we've got babysitters to relieve. Yeah. So we're very, we want it, this is the show I would want to yeah. go to. Um, so yeah. It's, You're coming, right? SeagullsBagelMania.com <laughs> if you want to join them there. I'll be there Thursday, September 26th at night. Thank you all for being here. Thanks. Yeah.